Good morning everybody, thank you for joining me. It is half past six on a Friday morning and we are in Andover. Just turn that heating down a little bit. Uh, started off this morning in Exeter but half past six this morning it's still dark so it's definitely dark at four o'clock this morning when I left. Just been loaded, we're off to Brixton and then Norfleet today. Um, after that, I'm not 100% sure where we're going. We're delivering uh, NHS PPE supplies, bedding, um, scrubs, that sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, up into London for them to distribute it out from there to the relevant places that need it. Um, yeah, it's been a bit of an interesting week. I'll tell you about that throughout the video. Um, but the first thing I need to do now is go and get some breakfast. So, it's a breakfast bar, burger van thing just at the top of the industrial estate. So I'm going to go there, get myself something to eat, and then crack on towards Fleet for some diesel probably, before we head into London and get a break there as well. Reset the driving time before we go in. Um, yeah, so let's get cracking on and I'll speak to you guys in a bit. guys to give you a bit of an update about today so far so I had a break in Fleet and uh, had my 45 minutes there reset my driving time and then I've got to just inside the M25 on the M3 and there is a lorry on fire and I've been here now for nearly an hour just sat engine off so today's gonna be a little bit longer than I wanted it to be but never mind that's what happens that's part of the job um, so yeah, I'll just tell you a bit about what's been going on this week. So Monday I took my truck in to have its night heater looked at because uh, it's not working properly. Uh, it's firing up but there's no heat coming out. So yeah, I took that into the garage for them to have a look at and they've said they need it for a whole day to take it apart. Um, from there I then went to Whitchurch which is just outside Andover and delivered two pallets and then I came back into Andover waited around for about an hour and then went to the cardboard place at the bottom of the industrial estate and uh, got loaded there. By the time I got loaded there that was then three o'clock I think so I, that was to be delivered to Watford so I uh, called the place in Watford and said look I'm gonna be getting to you at about five o'clock ish you're right to hang on um, to unload me and they said no sorry we go home at four o'clock so I went back to the yard and I delivered that Tuesday instead. So I drove to Watford Tuesday and then came back and got loaded for uh, Wednesday, uh, which was, uh, no it wasn't, sorry it wasn't loaded Wednesday. That was um, back to the yard, empty, ready for Wednesday collection, Wednesday morning. Uh, and that was delivery of a big production line conveyor belt um, and that was up to a inkjet molding place up in Litchfield uh, just north of Birmingham 
got there and had to wait two hours to be unloaded because they had organised extra deliveries of other stuff to arrive as well, so they had to prioritise that. And came back to the Andover on Wednesday night and got loaded Wednesday night for Cornwall. So I was down in Camborne uh, yesterday. Uh, hence why I stayed last night in Exeter. So I had Camborne and uh, Newton Abbott. Police car just going past there for the um for the fire truck up the front. Um, yeah, so I had to go down to Camborne, and I got down to Camborne, and my dash lit up like a Christmas tree. So uh, took that into the Wessex DAF down there, and they kindly had a look at it for me, and they got it fixed. But that took five hours. So I nearly ran out of working time yesterday because I had to go from Camborne to Newton Abbott. And by the time I got to Newton Abbott, I only had uh, an hour um, of working time left. Plenty of driving time, so I could have made it home, but of course running out of working time on a 15 hour day um, wasn't good. So I pulled into Exeter Services with about 20 minutes to spare and um, yeah, spent the night there. And now here I am, stuck in traffic. Um, on my way into London. As I say it's been a bit of a strange week, a little bit strange, but that's what it is sometimes. It's nothing really much has happened. But yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna um, carry on waiting here until they clear the road. Recovery trucks gone past, loads of fire engines, so I can't imagine it being too long. So I'll um, speak to you guys in a bit. Okay guys, we're now on the Upper Richmond Road. Um, yeah, well clear of the well clear of the M3 traffic now. Um, about half an hour away from our delivery address, which is interesting because it's about six miles away. So it just goes to show what London traffic can be like. Although it doesn't look busy along this bit right now, it's um, definitely busier towards the end of this, I'm sure. Um, especially getting through Putney and then connecting with the A3. Um, so yeah, let's get cracking onto this delivery address, get this one done. I'm ready for the day to be over, obviously after sitting in traffic for so long, but it can't be helped. So guys, I'll speak to you in a bit. Okay guys, we're just a couple of minutes away now. Time is already five past 12, so we've already lost five minutes trying to get through this bit of traffic. Um, as I said, I knew it would be worse because I joined the A3. Again, certainly getting through uh, Clapham Common. So yeah, um, just up here on the right hand side, I think it is. Again, we've been caught at another set of traffic lights. But that's okay, that's okay. Yeah, so I have to work out whether they're going to want me to be forklifted off or reversed onto a loading bay. Um, hoping it's forklifted, because uh, then they generally do that a little bit quicker than on the loading bays, because they don't want to spend too long doing it. Whereas if you reverse onto a bay, that means they can um, take their time a little bit more, because you can't see what they're doing. That's what I found at a lot of places anyway. Yeah, definitely quicker by a forklift, as long as one's available, obviously. Appreciate that corner. Making a note of the fact that it is a 20 mile an hour speed limit in this bit now. A lot of London's changed to that relatively recently. Finding 
exactly where it is I'm going. Pretty sure it's over the next set of traffic lights and then it's on the right hand side. Negotiate these traffic lights. And see where they want me. Is that the way in? Yeah. Perfect, thank you. Handy. Oh. Always handy getting the postcode for the address and it being uh, for the front of the building, not where you need to be. So that's helpful. So I've got to go down here, find somewhere to turn around, um, and then back to the traffic lights where I need to turn right. Or should be, and it will actually be left now because we're coming back the other way. Anyway, right, guys, I know where I'm going. I'll speak to you in a bit. Right, that's the first delivery done. Didn't take too long to get unloaded. It took actually longer to get out of there because they've got a one way system where their trucks get unloaded as well. Um, so, yeah, it just caused a bit of a, a backlog getting and out, but that wasn't too much of a problem. So, now we're making our way towards Gravesend. So I think I'm going to pick up the South Circular and head out of London on the east side. Come in on the west, exit on the east. Um, yeah, so um, not my favourite place to be driving in London. So, um, plenty of worse places to be driving though, I'm sure. Can't think of them off the top of my head, but there's plenty of worse places, I'm sure. Um, yeah. Satnav says about an hour to uh, to the delivery. Google Maps has picked up a bit of traffic, uh, so probably a little bit longer than that, but we shall see. Um, I do need to go find somewhere to get something to eat though, so I yeah, need to see if there's somewhere I can stop on the way, have something to eat. Feeling a little bit peckish, but we shall see what happens. Let's crack on guys, speak to you in a bit. Alright guys, Second delivery is done. I'm currently in Clackett Lane Services having a 45 minute break. I've got about an hour and a half to get home from here without any traffic. Um, this afternoon has just been a nightmare. It took an hour and 45 minutes to get from uh, Brixton to Northfleet. Uh, Satnav said an hour. Google Maps said an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes. So yeah, just even worse with that. Um, but that's part of the job. We get stuck in traffic. We have issues stuck in traffic this morning because of a lorry on fire Breaking down yesterday uh, Waiting around to be unloaded. It's all part of the job. It's what we sign up for when we when we take the job We know what's happening. We know what's going on Just so there are some days particularly Fridays we could do without it, but it is what it is. It is what it is so yeah um, I'm gonna end the video here Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, let me know what you want to see more of. Um, and yeah, enjoy whatever it is you're doing after you've watched this video, if indeed you've watched this far. Have a good weekend.